Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. As usual we're gonna take a look at all the major including gold and oil. So uh, while I roll the intro disclaimer please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys. As usual, we'll start with the Dixie and we are on the daily chart. If we look on the daily chart, we see that the Dixie in a down channel and trading below it, uh, the 200 uh, daily moving average for now. That is the level where I think is the key area for uh, the dollar bull. So uh, up here at the top of the channel, we do have this previous swing high. We have the 200 moving average also at that level monthly or one and uh, this key structure of uh, horizontal support and resistance area i think i've been mentioning this level many times now but we keep trading around it and each and every time we do that we uh, keep having some reaction so that's why this level is a key area um, basically the 97.75 is uh, the level for uh, the dollar bulls to to break uh, for more upside uh, otherwise we will keep uh, pushing to the downside on this market probably since um, last time we had a low it was this low here that broke uh, below previous lows here so we keep having lower lows and lower highs if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that last week um, the dollar did move um, above a key structure so we had this um, ascending triangle as you see here and i mentioned this uh, both in the weekly overview and for my student in our trading room that we are keep getting higher lows and uh, equal highs here at uh, this key area where we have yearly pivot point and monthly pivot point and we've been talking about that a break above this will uh, signal a continuation to the upside at least toward that 97.75 area and uh, indeed the dollar did uh, a nice breakout with a, a retest if we look on the one hour time frame we had a nice breakout great retest and a continuation to then start slowing down and reversing lower during the uh, during the uh, nf uh, the nfp release so if we keep being on the one hour time frame i think uh, the situation for uh, early next week is a possible uh, continuation in dollar weakness i'm expecting the dollar to retest this area where we uh, should see um, the bulls here at around monthly pivot point and yearly pivot point and this whole previous structure that got broken i'm expecting uh, some kind of um, bullish defense at this level on the retest so keep an eye on this level for the possibility of uh, seeing uh, the bulls entering the market to push back price uh, um, toward the top of the channel and uh, maybe test these uh, previous highs so on the four hour time frame it would look something like this another retest uh, to this uh, key structure level here this area been acting as uh, nice um, resistance previously and uh, support as well if we also look at uh, uh, these uh, areas oops <laughs> everything is moving so let's go so um, as you see this is a pretty important level looking left it's been tested many times and uh, again if we uh, do see another retest of this uh, structure uh, there is a possibility that uh, the bears may enter the market uh, and uh, and try to push the price lower from this level uh, but as i said at the beginning of this video if the bulls really mean it they need to break out uh, outside of this uh, channel uh, and above this previous high and if that is the case this will signal a continuation to the upside otherwise uh, expect some kind of uh, reversal once again here as you see the 200 moving average on the four hour is acting again as a dynamic resistance as it did here and now the price is back below that 200 moving average on the four hour so uh, that is what i'm looking for for the dixie early next week a little bit of a weakness back down toward yearly pivot point to then look and see if the bulls will push it higher from that area uh, oil after a uh, this a spike um, with uh, what been happening between uh, the US and Iran it seems like uh, the situation is a little bit colder now and uh, um, <laughs> what's been called war, war world war three been averted so far uh, I, I 
I think it was a little bit of a funny situation there and uh, I think it was overhyped this whole war thing and um, yeah as you see um, oil uh, could not break above uh, 65 uh, returned back down in a strong manner back to the bottom of this channel so uh, it is now uh, testing a key level here uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that this whole area here is a pretty important level uh, horizontally we've been uh, tested this level previously as support and resistance we do have the uh, trend line as well uh, this trend line is tested many times so where the price is right now is a possible uh, support area for uh, maybe a at least a short term push higher from this level um, for more downside we need to see a break below this uh, channel and if that is the case then you should be looking to sell rallies or sell correction back down toward the uh, 54 area is the next uh, market objective but since uh, this has been a pretty extended move on the lower time frame and as you see here uh, the price start losing momentum when it reached this support level uh, and uh, doing some kind of wedge here uh, with a bullish divergence on the uh, RSI uh, there is a potential uh, that we may see fake out to the downside to then uh, see a correction back up towards 62 area this level here gonna be a pretty interesting level for um, possible uh, push back down for the bears uh, if uh, that would be the case so we do have a void in price here that may get filled next week so keep an eye on that as well um, gold let's go to the daily on this one so for gold uh, we do have actually a break and close above previous highs both on the daily and on the weekly uh, time frame what's not good about this close though that we do have this uh, whole rejection back down after an attempt to hold above um, the highs since um, this move been uh, made on those uh, news about war between iran and the us once again but if you see here the close was above previous high so we have a weekly close above previous high we have a daily close above previous high uh, and i'm still expecting gold to keep pushing higher but maybe first uh, after a correction to the downside actually since this uh, breakout happened i think uh, gold uh, may keep pushing to the upside and you may be wondering why and how could uh, both the stock market and gold and dollar move to the upside at the same time and one of them is wrong i think gold is the one that is uh, the right one the breakout is happening because someone uh, or the smart money maybe knows something that we don't know um, i'm very skeptical to this um, euphoria we do have in the stock market and i think there is uh, investor um, moving to safe havens here before the collapse of uh, the stock market the first quarter seems to be a bullish one on the stocks but I'm not sure about the second and the third quarter. I think we may see a bigger correction. Uh, let's talk about um, uh, a bit lower er earnings for the first quarter on the stocks. So um, there is a possibility that gold is the leading indicator here and we may see a continuation. So uh, enough about that. 1550 was a good and uh, strong level as a support for short term and uh, it is still holding for now. But my uh, my expectation is possibly that we may see gold retesting these previous highs up here and uh, if we see a failure uh, to break higher than possible rotation back down toward 15 15 area that is uh, a probable uh, good support level it uh, was not tested since the the breakout we had this little retest uh, at the same day to then see the continuation but we do not have a bigger retest on the uh, daily time frame so uh, for next week possible continuation to the upside for gold if it fails to break above this high expect uh, the bears to tr uh, try to enter and uh, move it back down and that will give you a possible head and shoulder scenario target if we break below a uh, monthly r1 is the 15 15 area on uh, the gold so that is my plan for uh, this one next week 
EURUSD also uh, holding at the 200 moving average on the 4 hour for now we're gonna take a look at the daily as well but as you see as far as this uh, level here is not broken euro still could be considered bullish with higher highs and higher lows another major higher higher low here on the way if this keep uh, establishing i'm looking to um, to see if uh, the euro will uh, be able to break above this high if that would be the case then we have a possible retest of this uh, previous high looking left uh, on this chart so uh, again it is still possibly bullish uh, on the reversal here if we look on the daily time frame uh, we see that we have a nice uh, swing high here uh, did a double top moved back lower gave us another dub uh, another double bottom here and a an, uh, continuation to the upside that actually broke above these previous highs this previous high above the 200 moving average to then push lower now as i said as far as this major swing is not broken we could consider this whole move here still uh, a uh, bullish uh, move that is not broken since we still have higher highs and higher lows on the major time frame so for next week <clears throat> short term at least I'm expecting a possible continuation to the upside on the euro and uh, the first trouble area would be uh, this level up here around the um, 1.1180 is a possible rejection area for uh, the bears to try to push the price back down <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> for more downside you need to see the euro breaking below this level and if that is the case we need to also see a break below the trend line that will send us once again to the bottom of this uh, range so if we forget about the trend line and we see it just as a range you see that uh, <clears throat> the price uh, if that would be the case would uh, keep being uh, probably uh, trading inside this range after this would be a fake out with a lower high and then a continuation to the downside but again this need to be broken for that continuation to happen so sterling <coughs> still uh, um, uh, a bit weaker than the rest uh, we saw that during the nfp release so here, here was the nfp candle um, last friday um, <coughs> even though it was a pretty bad uh, nfp number uh, i'm not talking about only about uh, let's take a look at that i'm not ta talking only about the uh, the headline 145k is still okay when you have such a uh, low unemployment rate this is still okay in my opinion what's not good is um, the average hourly earning which came uh, much much lower which also lead to lower inflation so this is a bit scary for the, the for the fed and uh, for the investors that should be thinking about this so despite that uh, the the sterling uh, kept being uh, lower ended the day uh, near the lows of the session so uh, again uh, because of that and because of this lower high we have on the daily time frame after the retest of this key structure here uh, the election move and then pushed back down another lower high now establish it there is a possibility for another attempt uh, toward 1.300 which is a key support level but uh, that is uh, probably for early next week and uh, the level to really watch is down here around uh, yearly pivot point monthly s1 uh, that is a key area for uh, for the sterling next week so uh, as far as we are below this um, short term trend line we should be looking for another retest of the yearly pivot point if a break above this happened then there is a possibility for that continuation move uh, for this chart <clears throat> usd jappy also pushed strongly to the upside making a pretty nice v-shape here after breaking below previous structure uh, move toward 108 which been um, a good support level many times looking left uh, the market uh, been testing this level for a <clears throat> very long time now since april 2017 it, this area been acting as both uh, uh, support and resistance but also it did uh, come back to another uh, resist important resistance level and that is 10970 so the 10970 also been tested as uh, good support and resistance looking left so another good level to watch um, so i'm expecting at least short term 
downside here <clears throat> we have a pretty strong move after those um, news um, about uh, the strike against um, the US uh, uh, bases we had this uh, push to the downside to then uh, see the market pushing all the way back up without uh, looking on the four hour time frame without any bearish candle all the move pushed all the way without any bearish candle reaching the top of this channel now <clears throat> this uh, bearish engulfing uh, last friday uh, could be uh, profit taking i mean it been going uh, if you are a bull and um, did took a buy here on 108 i think you are pretty happy for such a move uh, moving all the way toward um, the top here and uh, you would take some profit for sure uh, i mean it was like 1.7 percent move it depends on from where you entered the whole move from down here uh, from the the, the monthly s2 all the way to this area is uh, almost a two percent move so of course there would be some profit taking and um, <clears throat> again it is a pretty important level so some kind of uh, correction of this whole move is not a, a bad idea at all so <clears throat> sorry i took a short here uh, last friday uh, from the top here um, moved stop loss are ready to break even because it is against a very strong momentum uh, and it was a late trade so I don't want to um, uh, risk much so uh, stop loss is moved already but I'm expecting this market to at least give me a 38.2 uh, retracement and uh, if the market reached that level we have monthly pivot point and this uh, previous structure also we have previous month NFP high here uh, this red line here is the previous month's F NFP high so that would be a um, a possible uh, short-term target before maybe seeing bulls pushing once again uh, another scenario could be uh, that we keep trading inside this range there is a possibility for that that we keep another uh, we see another move all the way back down but for that to happen we need a strong catalyst uh, some kind of um, stock market uh, moving to the downside strongly that would be a catalyst to to move this market another good target would be the 618 looking left this would be the neckline again another support here support here been tested this area been tested many times as a good support and resistance area as you see so uh, not um, a bad level as well to target if uh, 38.2 and the monthly pivot point got broken you have a nice uh, structure that been tested many times here looking left so keep this level also in mind as a possible target or a possible level where you may see the bulls trying to push the price higher from this area New Zealand USD well the New Zealand been in a nice strong bullish trend uh, we want uh, we wanted to go long and uh, I've been talking about this after the the market reached this level um, I said we look for a correction and a possible continuation after this a strong breakout here uh, we want to see a correction and continuation now the market did test a first level of interest which is previously broken structure at this level and did hold a little bit to then give us a little bit of a uh, bounce to the upside looking on the four hour time frame we see this um, move higher but still this is not enough as a sing uh, as a signal um well if you want to go long blindly you could do so just based on retest of pre uh, previous uh, structures here yearly pivot point at that level as well uh, last week uh, weekly s1 uh, was at that level as well so uh, could be a good level for a limit order but if you want to be more short you want to see a little bit more um, uh, momentum here so for next week on the one hour time frame i'm interested to see if we're gonna see another retest here another higher low to start happening if that is the case then there is a possibility to move um, uh, to move up toward uh, these levels so if that would be the case then um, we may see a continuation higher but the price need to break above this structure for that uh, longer term continuation to happen yeah 
USD chief also inside a possible uh, correction channel. So this market been also in a bearish trend uh, for a while now since we reached uh, this stop here and this possible fake out. We start seeing the price moving lower and uh, was not able to make new highs here, make a double top and uh, broke the neckline. So um, after this uh, break of the neckline, we broke also uh, below this structure to then reach the last line of defense down here and start pushing higher. Now this push higher, I still not seeing it as a uh, possible strong reversal if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that the price been um, going uh, in a little bit of a slower move momentum is not so strong we keep uh, seeing strong correction back to the downside so i'm i will be watch uh, this uh, possible channel here and any break below this level will signal a sell rally scenario and again if we break below this level that will open the door for much more downside if we go down back to the daily time frame we see that this is the last line of defense if broken monthly s1 gonna be very very easy to reach usd cat also i'm still um, uh, bearish on this market uh, since we broke um, below this uh, channel here we had this uh, break uh, another retest failed to make new high failed to make new high another lower high after making a lower low here and here we had another lower low below all these uh, structures so uh, structure wise we should be looking for a retest and continuation on this market at least toward monthly s1 so structure wise this market should be sell rallies so i've been talking to my um, subscribers in our trading room and and uh, to our uh, to my students that we should be looking short term for a bullish i think i mentioned this also here in the weekly overview last week that we should be looking for a short term bullish move toward this area and if that would be the case to start looking for bearish evidence now that's last week we reached that level um but there was no um it the price did not really push uh, uh, all the way toward this area um just shy of it start reversing uh, because um of uh, the bears entering a little bit early to then get the nfp numbers and the canadian unemployment numbers and the uh, employment change which was great uh, for the cat 35.2 uh, much higher than expectation unemployment rate uh, was much lower than expectation so was it was uh, very good cad numbers and uh, bad uh, usd numbers and still uh, the price did not actually uh, move strongly to the downside so uh, the reason for that could be uh, the the oil weakness that we had and uh, i'm still looking for this continuation so if the price now managed to move back down here and give you another bounce toward this area it is still a level to look for possibility of short and continuation i'm still um, short uh, on this market and i will keep looking for that continuation especially if we break below this level that would be a great um, uh, trade because there is a uh, lot of room to the downside on this market as you see so um, keep selling rallies uh, in my opinion also usd let's go to the daily time frame so uh, this market started a reversal which been going uh, very good so far um, as you see uh, it broke above this previous high above this previous high above the long-term trend line and what's more important we had a pretty strong break above the 200 moving average on the daily to then start um, uh, moving lower when uh, the 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 situation between the U.S. and Iran be, uh, start to escalate, so of course uh, the, the risky asset as the Aussie uh, start to being weak, but if we really look at these swings and structure wise, we have a swing here another major higher low and another major higher high. Now inside this uh, swing here, we have a uh, minor swings here as these this minor swing is not broken this minor swing is not broken the major swing is absolutely not broken so as far as there is no break below this at least this minor swing this market should uh, keep pushing to the upside so uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that 
uh, the market spent a lot of time here uh, and failing to break uh, below the trend line, failing to break the structure and below this level to then get um, the numbers from uh, the Aussie, which came a good, uh, the whole week been uh, good numbers from all the, as you see here, all the Aussie um, releases was, the building approval was much, much higher than expected. We had the trade balance, which came also higher than expected. We had the retail sales uh, from the Aussie also last week, which came also higher than expected. So it's been a pretty strong week fundamentally for the Aussie and uh, there is a potential for that continuation now. But before that continuation, you need to be aware of this level. The price also need to, if you are in a long position, be aware of this structure here. It need to be broken for that continuation to happen on Aussie USD. So again, the fundamentals are good the technicals are saying we should be looking for a uh, continuation it is a great retest of the trend line and there is a potential move at least back to the top of this uh, uh, swing high here on uh, aussie usd so uh, yeah that was uh, the last uh, chart for youtube uh, of course uh, i will keep doing the rest of these for our trading room now uh, if you are interested to join uh, our trading room, it is um, uh, just to um, uh, it is all about uh, going to my um, homepage down here. Uh, you have the the link down here, and um, we still have the uh, trial for fourteen days for only one dollar. So uh, you can cancel it whenever you want and uh, just be there for a couple of weeks, uh, see how we work and uh, learn a lot with me. And uh, we have uh, lots of great traders that are sharing their ideas as well in our trading room. So thanks a lot, guys, and see you next week. Bye bye.